If you want to find out all the tea on you, what the gossip is, and why, stay tuned. We'll get into it and get all the details. See you on the other side. Hello, beautiful creatures. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy, and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will find value in this video and consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? It's always good to connect with your energy, and I appreciate you being here and supporting my channel. All right, so today I'm doing uh, What's the Tea? What's the Gossip? All about you. So um, who's talking about you, what they're saying, and why? So we're going to get into it and get all the details. Um, let's go through these pick a card here. Um, this, the face cards are from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, a really powerful tarot deck that I highly recommend. It is non-traditional, so if you're just learning to read tarot, this isn't going to probably be a really good reference for that. But there's just a lot of powerful energy in this deck, and you'll see as we go to the cards here. I have done a little bit of a pre-shuffle, um, and I will be pulling tarot and also more cards as we go along. So I have Abundance here. Why are people talking about you? What are they saying? What's the gossip? What's the tea? Whoops. I'm totally, my, I'm standing a little bit away from the table and my arms are short. So yeah, you guys. Okay. We have intuition. Beautiful card. Let's see. My OCD is kicking in. I'm sorry with these stacks. All right. We have desire. And let's see, we have death. This is probably one of my favorite cards out of this, out of this deck. Beautiful. Probably one of the best death cards I've ever seen. So, um, yeah. So I will insert a photograph like I always do. Take a moment, meditate. If you're drawn to more than one, there's probably a message in the other uh, stack as well. So go with what you're guided with, and I will see you guys on the other side. Bye, guys. Hi, Group 1. All of you that selected the Abundance card. This is a beautiful card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some more cards, and then we'll go through them, okay? But first, I want to find out how many people are gossiping about you. So let's, let's find out. I'm going to use one, one die. One. Okay, so this is going to be about one person who's talking about you. So, all right, let's pull some cards. I'm going to pull from this channeled, let me move my cord here. Um, I'm going to pull from this channeled messages deck. I've been using these more in my readings, and um, I'm trying to develop some different card decks. So they kind of help me, guide me into what, these don't really want to shuffle you guys. So we'll do it like this. Flip it over. There's my hair, of course. Okay. Just going to kind of mix it up this way. Do, do, do. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using the basic concepts of these cards to see what, what is helpful from, for my deck, that, that kind of thing. So, let's see here. All right. Ooh, I don't want to look at it yet. Ah, but I saw it. It says, I'll let you see it too since I cheated. Okay. F person. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is, this is probably somebody who, who, who deals with people that way. Okay. All right. Can I get, ooh, another one. Yes. So the person you're thinking of, yes, this is who this is. Okay. That's just validation. I guess I'll go ahead and keep pulling them up online. All right. I'm going to get one more. Single parent drama. Okay. This could be an X. Um, and it could have something to do with your money. You can't see that, can you? Okay. Let's do it like this then. All right. Okay. So this, this may be an X. This may be somebody you have children with. Um, or it may be just a drama that this person's brought into your life. It could be an X uh, hookup or an X partner of some kind. So I'm going to pull love cards here. I'm going to pull a love card because I'm feeling that this is an X. So let's find out um, for sure what's going on. 
Tell me more about Group 1's person. What is gossip about them? I think some people are saying that you're an F person, to be honest. I think this person may not actually be an F person. You may not, and there's no judgment if you are, okay? Um, but someone's talking about you as if you are. Um, there's something about your online presence here. Okay. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yeah, they, they, uh, yeah. 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 This doesn't feel good, you guys. I don't like it. Um, let's get into these cards. We have Lilith equality. We have silence. There is a sweet embrace in the nothingness stillness brings, a presence of self fully embodied. Yeah, I feel like this person is probably somebody that you don't talk to very much or you've cut off because you found out they were lying. I feel like they're talking about you um, as someone who's a liar and who cut them off. And because you're probably out messing around, um, this may be an ex or in-laws from a, a divorce or someone you have children with um, or someone who has children. This might, the person talking about you might be someone who has children, um, who's a single parent. I feel like they're jealous. There's a lot of jealousy in this stack. Like they're jealous. Okay. Um, we'll get into why. Motherhood, ferocity, creation. Yeah. Yeah. They're jealous. They're jealous. Maybe you have... A child with someone that they want okay maybe they have a child they have a child with them this is an ex situation and um, it's the ex partner of a person okay um, and they're talking about you like uh, you're online you're like um, they feel like you're you're lying about who you are or you've uh, you have a page where you you know you express yourself more maybe sexually or in an unusual way and they're talking about it yeah, this doesn't feel good. Black flower fragrance. We have dragonfly. You bring light to the world. Okay, that's why they're talking about you. There's something about your aura that's very beautiful. Um, abundance. Yeah, there's an energy about you that um, I feel like for some people, they're feeling like you're getting in the way of their money. Okay, maybe you're working on making your money and um, they're jealous because you're actually accomplishing some things and they don't like it. This is someone who doesn't like to see you rise, okay? And I don't like the way they're talking about you. They're talking about you, you like you don't value anybody, okay? Um, like you only value yourself, and you don't think about the consequences, how it affects other people, how it appears to other people. Um, and this person cares about the masks people wear. Like they like to put on a show, that there's somebody that they're not. And I think you don't have that mask. It's almost like this person is projecting onto you when they talk about you um, how they are. It's really interesting. This person's very toxic. Um, yeah. Okay. Can we get five cards here? Tell me more about the gossip. Um, the black flower fragrance here, I feel like this is... This is jealousy, okay? I'm feeling like there's a dark aura around their heart center, okay, uh, when it comes to you, all right? And Lilith here is about you know, equality, freedom of expression, sexual freedom. Um, this is about asserting yourself, your feminine aspect, asserting yourself. Um, and a lot of people, when feminine energy start to assert themselves and go forward in a confident way, really focused on what they're trying to manifest. A lot of people, especially other feminine energies, seem to be triggered by that, okay? So, um, yeah, I, I'm hearing like the word bitch is used quite often, okay? Um, and yeah, they just want people to devalue you. So, because when they devalue you, they devalue your accomplishments. Maybe some of you guys are going to college, you're fixing to graduate. Um, there's some kind of accomplishment here that they don't want you to be noticed for, so they're going to downgrade you before. They're really trying to make you look bad to other people. Uh, many of you know who this is. A five of Pentacles, Lord of Material Trouble. Yeah, that's with the abundance. I feel like they feel like you're getting in the way of their money somehow, or they're wishing that you don't make any. Um, Maybe you have worked with this person and um, they have kind of spread rumors about you. It's going to be different for different people. Nine of Swords. Yeah, they don't wish you well at all. This is death. Uh, they don't wish you well at all. This is Princess of Swords, uh, Princess of the Rushing Winds. And we have the Lord of Prudence here. You can't see that. So let's just do this business. Um, yeah, I, wow, this is bad. 
I'm surprised Hater didn't come out in this deck. This feels like really nasty, jealous Hater energy. And the thing is, I think they wear a mask around you. So this would be someone I would consider maybe a frenemy. Maybe you have an idea, but you're not sure. And this reading is telling you you need to be sure about it, okay? you. This is validation, all right? Um, and I feel like you may ha not talk to them as much as you used to, or you may have cut them off in some way. And uh, because of that, they feel even more anger, okay? More... Uh, as like, I'm picking up on this uh, despair and cruelty. It's like they want to inflict that on you because they feel like you cutting them off was unnecessary, even though it's very valid because of the way they're talking about you behind your back to people. You know, they're making it look like you don't value anyone or anything, and you're going to do exactly what you want to do, and no one's going to stop you. And you may actually feel like, I'm going to do what I want, no one's going to stop me. That doesn't mean you don't have compassion. And I feel like that's what they're trying to say. You're not soulful. You are uh, win at any risk. Now, take what resonates here and leave the rest behind. That's not going to be the, oop, sorry. That's not going to be the way for um, everyone, all right? I'm going to get a couple more cards here. Tell me more about this gossip. Yeah, you're learning boundaries, and you're learning how to enforce your boundaries. And if you set up a boundary with this person, they don't like it. <laughs> if this is an ex or uh, the partner of an ex, or, um, yeah, or you've worked with this person. Maybe you've decided to, like, people from the past that you don't have good connections with, maybe you just don't stay connected with them online anymore, and that has given them a reason to start this uh, terrible gossip about you. Don't let your past hold you back. Yeah, just leave this, smoke this in the past. Just leave it. They're not worth it. They're not worth your time. They're not worth your energy. And uh, you got better things to do. I feel like you're working on some big things. That's part of why this energy is being stirred up, okay? There's jealousy here. It's, ooh, it's really nasty, too. All right. Let me get one of these Witch's Wisdom cards. Tell me more about Group 1's person. Power. Yeah, you kind of have Scorpio here, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, and let's see, what else, what else? Okay, that's what I got, so um, let me get one more card over here, the Halloween Oracle. All right, tell me more. Don't let your past hold you back and power. You are powerful. Okay, I think that's really what you need to walk away from this reading with. You're powerful. Do not let this drama take you. Okay, don't let it get you off your game. All right, this person isn't worth it. They really aren't. Regret, yeah. Um, there's a lot of regret here with this person. Okay, uh, and I feel like you may regret ever meeting them or having anything to do with them. You may regret having uh, your ex as a partner. There may be a lot of regret on your part. And I feel like you're really powerful, and I think spirit, the spirit guides, your ancestors, whatever paradigm you resonate with, that energy is stepping forward to say, you're powerful, okay? And don't let this nasty business knock you off your game, okay? Stay focused. Don't let your past hold you back. This is an exercise in releasing the past and moving towards the future, releasing regret, releasing the ghosts of the past so that you can move into a more positive energy. And I think you're already in positive energy, and I think that's probably why this is kicking up so much. Um, I think you're, the moves you're making is probably unnerving some people, and so... A lot of times insecure, uh, sad, depressed, uninspired people go after people who are on the track towards success. So just keep that in mind. All right, group one, that's what I received for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or didn't, please let me know in the description box, uh, the, the comments below, not description. Ah. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that little notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, group two, all of you that selected this intuition card and this little stack of cards here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some dice to see how many people are gossiping about you, and uh, then I'm going to pull some more cards, and then we'll get into it. Okay, so uh, let's find out what is the gossip, what is the tea about you, how many people, pull one dice here, how many people are talking about group two, how many people are gossiping? Wow, you have six people. 
Whoa. Well, that's intense. Okay. This may be a group of people or a friend group that you have exited. It's just, it's going to be different for different people. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get some channel messages here. Let's tell me who is gossiping about group two. Group two. Who's gossiping? What's the tea? What are they saying? Okay. Let me get this one. Shameful. Ah, I hate when that card comes out. I probably shouldn't put it in my stat, in my group, but I, in my cards to pick from, but I feel like it should be there, but I really hate this because this is a very judgmental energy. So let's keep going. Yeah, somebody is just judging you. It's, ugh. I think your abilities are growing. Okay. Life purpose. Maybe you're, you're working on your life purpose. I'm gonna get a couple more cards here. Whoop. We have occult interest. This person may be in the cult. Maybe you are. It's going to be different for different people. Let me scoot this up here. I feel like some people are judging you because of the occult interest. You may have an unusual job that also is triggering people. And, you know, that's not your problem. I I'm just like, that is not your problem. I feel that coming through. Like, your guides want you to know how people feel about what you're doing is, is not your problem. It's their problem. And they need to learn to handle their, handle their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, they need to keep their nose out of your business. You do what you do because it's right for you. I feel like a lot of people feel like what you're doing is your life purpose. Okay? So let's get into it. Intuition. I'm not going to turn it over yet. I'm not going to turn it over. Because I feel like I want to turn them over all at once. Let me get this one. Well, you know what? I'm being guided to get an astrology card as well so I'm gonna get that and then we'll flip them over and get into the tarot okay one more card for group two tell me about these people who are gossiping about group two I think there are people who are saying some good things like uh, they're watching you you grow if your abilities aren't growing it may be a skill it may be that you're just growing as a human being maybe you're really coming into your own and finding your voice and people are happy about that you know Maybe they see that you're getting on uh, your life purpose or you have uh, discovered that your life purpose is what makes you happy and you really put a lot of your energy into it um, and uh, it's going to blossom for you. But I'm feeling like there's work to be done. All right. Who is gossiping about group two? Why and what are they saying? Okay. So we have Saturn. Truth. Truth. We have intuition. We have eternal love. Love is here. Love is love. And it transcends physical death. So someone, maybe uh, your partner is talking about you. They're gossiping about you with their friends or with people. But they're telling people how much they love you. Okay, that you're their person. All right. Um, yeah, that's why I'm feeling like if that resonates for you, it's positive. It's not negative. Okay. They're the one talking about how you're growing. They're, they're the one talking about how your job is, you know, it's, it's bigger than just money. It's bigger than just a, a paycheck. There's a deeper purpose here. Maybe what you do is connected to the occult or it's an unusual job. You know, it could be that, you know, you work, I'm getting like in the sex industry or something like that. Um, maybe your work is just unusual. And um, I feel like for some of you, you, you like are, okay, this is interesting. There's some people who are like working on um, being an undertaker, things like that. And there's a higher purpose for you doing that because I feel like you're ministering to those who have lost loved ones. It's a very special, sacred work. People who work with loved ones of those who have passed, because you're actually working with the energy of the person who's passed on, because they're present in that, in that process, okay? So, and you probably know that. I feel like you guys, with this intuition here, I also feel like you may be a spirit medium. That's coming in really strongly for this group. So that would be an unusual. Even if it's not a job, it may be something you do on the side or something people know you for. And um, yeah, so let's keep going here. We have parasite. Okay, someone's talking about you and they have parasitic energy. Let me get a drink here. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so we have a, a loved one, probably a partner, a parasite. We have someone who's talking about truth. 
Oop. Oop. I shook you guys. I'm sorry. This is a new setup for me, so. Okay. We have labyrinth. Transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration. I think this is what you guys are doing. I think that's why life purpose and grow your abilities um, has come out. Yeah, and there are people who are not happy about you showing who you are. Maybe you've come out of the broom closet, okay? Maybe you are starting to talk about your occult interests or your religion or uh, your spirituality or your philosophy. And this is unnerving some people. And, you know, there's a lot of people who are religiously programmed who find people who have occult interests or unusual jobs or anything outside the norm very threatening. And they, they quickly go to shame. They quickly go to um, judging you. Mother of Dawn, the emissary, beauty, agency, and compassion. Ah, <laughs> for some of you, this is a feminine energy. It could be your mother, it could be your grandmother. I feel like when this energy comes up, I feel like there's a loving, compassionate energy that's coming forward and speaking up for you. So take that as it resonates. For others, this is your, your like mother, maternal figure talking about you, judging what you're doing. Okay, and I think. A lot of you guys with this intuition card already know that. We have coming of winter. It comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. It is time to lay your quivering chest upon winter's coming. Let me read that again. Coming of winter. It comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. Alas, it's time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming. All right. Yeah, I'm feeling coldness here. Like, I feel like snow, that kind of thing. I feel like there's someone who's really judging you, and they're very cold-hearted. I'm feeling Queen of Swords energy here. So, a um, very cold-hearted person. Um, we have self-esteem. I think you're healing your self-esteem. Uh, and I think someone's going after your self-esteem. They see you kind of growing into this light. You are already a light, but now it's just shining very brightly in whatever you do. It's very healing. You have very healing energy here. And um, you're working on, you know, yourself. Now, this is probably the parasitic energy, the cold. This could be part of that parasite group. Uh, this could be a friend group that is judging you or someone who used to be a friend who's judging you. And they're still talking about you. Months, maybe even years later, they are still talking about you. Remembrance. Ancestors. Yeah. I feel like you have family who are talking about you. Maybe they've recently found out um, about what you do. And, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of, they're, they're judging you for it. I'm sorry. It's hard to be judged for who you truly are. And I feel like that is really what's happening here. You are unfolding into the person that you really are. The truth of you is coming out, truth. And I feel like for a lot of people, um, they judge you for it. And maybe that's why you hid it for so long, you know, because people are going to judge you for it. But here's the thing. That's part of you growing. That's part of you really coming into your life purpose is detaching the need to be validated by friends and family. You know, it's something that I personally have had to deal with, and I just had to let go. You know, people are going to judge me. They've judged me my whole life. You may be one of those people that have always been judged, and that's why you guarded some of these parts of yourself so fiercely because you've been, you've been judged and you're sick of it. Here's the thing, though. You probably figured out or you are figuring out. They're going to judge you anyway, so you might as well be who you are, okay? Feeling that really strongly for you guys. We have the Ace of Cups here. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like this is someone who loves you, probably a romantic interest. If it's not a partner, it's somebody who has fallen in love with you, and they're talking about you as a wish fulfillment. And um, it could be an earth sign as well. And I feel like they're really wanting to come in if, if you don't know them. If you do know them, just know that they're talking about how much you love. they love you, how you're perfect for them, how you're like a wish come true. Okay, so you have positive gossip as well. It's not all negative. But people do like to talk about negative things, don't they? All right, let's keep going here. We have Santa Murta. I'm going to read these as separate as people, okay? That's what I'm being guided to do. And we have the Three of Wands, okay? So I feel like this is, this is the positive energy being talked about in your family. I feel like you may have an aunt or a cousin, um, some kind of that situation, an uncle um, of that kind of group 
that is talking negatively about you. And I feel like there's a maternal energy, a grandmother, a mother, an aunt who's like a mother, a sister who's like a mother. This could also be your siblings talking negatively about you and a parental figure uh, coming in and saying good things about you and saying, you know, you shouldn't talk about your sibling like that or you shouldn't talk about your cousin like that and really taking up for you. And they have a lot of joy. With the three of ones here, I'm feeling like this is a maternal figure that has a lot of joy for you, okay? They don't wish you harm um, at all. This is supportive energy. Okay, tell me more. Woo, that's, that's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna switch decks. I'm going to the Hermetic Tarot now. Tell me more about the people talking about group two. Tell me more. All right, I think we're gonna pull on this shameful energy. See what more we could get. This judgmental energy. I just don't like it. I gotta tell you, whoever this is, I don't like them. I don't even know them. They have just nasty, nasty energy. We have two of pinnacles, but it's presenting upside down. I don't always read uh, cards upside down, um, reversed, but in this case, I'm being guided to. So I feel like this person is off balance. They're off kilter. Uh, their life is probably uh, not good. Um, I feel like they may not have a job, or if they do have a job, it's not you know, it's not what they want. They're really unhappy. I'm feeling like an unhappy energy with this group. This could be the parasite, okay? And we get six of wands, Lord of Victory. I feel like they're watching you win, and they can't stand it, okay? Uh, they're watching you uh, rise and grow and become... I, you have an air about you that's very victorious, okay? And it really catalysts people with this two of pentacles in reverse. I feel like uh, you're really making this person... And you're not doing it on purpose, okay? It's just your energy. You're making this person feel really like um, they should be further along in their own life. It's like the judgment that they're putting on you is making, they're really judging themselves. It's another case of projection here. So I'm gonna get one more card on this group because it feels like this could be one person or it could be like up to three or four people. It's just gonna be different for different people. And we have the 10 of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like for many of you, uh, this could be, people who feel like family. This could also be people who um, who have some kind of foundational connection. It could be our actual family talking about you like this. Uh, you know, like when families get together for big dinners, sometimes after dinner or around dinner. You know what I mean? There's gossip when family gets together. But it also could be friends who get together and talk about you. And I feel like, you know, some of them wish you well, obviously with the Lord of Wealth here and Lord of Victory. But I feel like that's your energy that's catalysting them to talk about you okay so just keep that in mind all right let's keep going here we have the lovers uh, I heard that I heard what this person said Lord of Abundance uh-huh let me get one more card here and we have the King of Pentacles okay so this is someone who like uh, how can I put this you know they want you like they think you're hot, all right? And they're talking to people about you. They're talking to their probably masculine energies or masculine type energies. I want to say bros here, but that's just, that feels disrespectful. Um, but there's a, an energy here of someone who is successful, someone who gets what they want, someone who's abundant, hardworking. And they feel, uh, even though they may talk about you in a locker room kind of way, there's a deep love here for you, okay? And I feel like when people start talking about you in a negative way, they would stick up for you, okay? I don't feel like these two are the same person for most of you, okay? For a few of you, they are, and Spirit just wants you to know that, yeah, they talk about how much they love you, but they also talk about how much how much they desire you, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this person right here could be people who are interested in your person talking about you. Maybe they can see you or they know you, maybe you work together, and maybe they see your work online, maybe they see you online, maybe they shadow, follow you, like stalk you a little bit online, and, and they talk about you. Okay, and they talk about, um, this is like, they're jealous because they want their, your person. Okay, so let's get some more cards here. I'm going to get, let's see, what am I going to get here? Um, I'm being guided to the Moonology deck. So let's get some more words. Get some more word. Get a good word. That's what I'm trying to get to, you guys, <laughs> for group two. All right, woo, that popped out. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so... 
all this drama, all these people talking about you, it's not going to affect your life in any real way, okay? Uh, spirit just wants you to know knowledge is power. Luck is on your side. Yeah. I feel like people feel this around you. They feel this energy of luck. And I feel like you're lucky because you follow your gut. And I feel like your gut is going to guide you to some really successful uh, opportunities. We have like the Ten of Pentacles here. We have Lord of Victory. We have Lord of Abundance. There's just a lot of abundance around you. And I think people feel it. I think, that, I think they know that if you haven't walked into something, you're about to. And, um, you know, that, that makes people... Some people who are haters, they don't like they don't like to see other people win ever. Okay, so a, a new start is coming. So I think that's part of this luck here. I feel like with the intuition card, you're being guided in a certain direction and you're being encouraged to go there. And here's the thing that I'm getting is that for a lot of you, expect people to talk about you. Okay, I think it's part of your life purpose. I think as you shine, I'm feeling Leo energy here, the sun, as you grow more in your vitality, as you, I'm seeing the star card as well, as you restore your faith, hope, and love, your people are going to talk about you, okay? Uh, and not all of it will be nice, you know, but you will always have people who will stick up for you because they see the heart of you. The people who are talking negatively about you are judging you for what you do. Okay, and the people who love you love what you do. Okay, so um, you just have to remember that for every hater, there's probably a hundred lovers, right? So lean into that, lean into the good. I think for some of you, I'm feeling air energy here. So Libra, Aquarius, um, Gemini, and um, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like the judgment might hit you hard. Um, this shameful energy might hit you hard, and it might break your heart a little bit that when you find out who these people are. Because I think for some of them, you know who they are. And for others, you're going to find out, especially in your family. As you grow in your abilities, as you grow into this journey, you're on your life purpose. As you show more of your true self, these people will get louder and there may actually be a confrontation about it. But you'll know. You'll know. Either this kindly feminine energy is going to come forward and tell you or you're going to find out. Okay? All right, group two, that's what came forward for you. So I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. Please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate your support, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hello, group three, all of you that selected this beautiful desire card from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. This is your stack of cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Get a dice here and find out how many people are talking about you, are gossiping, what's the tea and what, the, what they're saying and why. And then I'll pull more cards and then we'll get into it. So how many people are talking about group three? How many people are talking about group three? Four. Four people. Okay, let's find out who they are. Oh, right. <laughs> I wanted to flip the cards over. I always do that, but I'm going to try not to. All right. These are channeled messages. I'm just going to get a few attributes and whatnot. What are they saying? Why? Who are they? That kind of thing. Well, we have desire here. So more than likely, one of these four at least is a love interest. I think you have multiple people interested in you, though, and they're talking about you to other people. Okay, let's see. We have sibling. Yeah, you may have a... F Oop, sorry. That was my cord. Let me, let me move this. Oops. Oops, you guys. Okay, hopefully I won't shake you guys anymore. All right, so you may have a family member. I flipped it over. See, I said I wasn't going to. These came out. Let's see, water, children. Okay, this may be somebody who, abuser. So this may be somebody who was toxic in a, in a past relationship talking about you. You know, I'm sorry. It feels narcissistic. So maybe you were involved with a narcissist. Maybe you've had children with them, and maybe they're talking about how you take care of the children, what's going on with your children. Oh, these came out, so we're going to take it. And acceptance. All right. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, I'm going to pull from, let's pull from the lovers oracle here. I have one card, please, from the Lover's Oracle. Tell me about group three, desire. I think some people really want to hook up with you, okay? Really. Badly. Like, they got it bad for you. I don't know what you're doing. And some of you are going to be like, yeah, right, Amy. No. <laughs> 
uh, you definitely have someone very interested in you. They're so interested. I feel like they're a little obnoxious with the way they talk about you to other people. And some of their friends are like, hey, we've heard enough about this person, right? Either do something or shut up about it. Because <laughs> I feel like this one of these people you has not come forward, okay? They're hiding. They're hiding on a list somewhere or they're hiding behind. Maybe they're a friend of a friend kind of thing. Okay, ooh, this one. I'm not going to read it. Okay, let's see. What else here? Um, I'm going to get an astrology card. I don't think I pulled any astrology cards. All right. I almost dropped it, but I didn't. <laughs> All right, after this, we'll flip over cards, and then I'll get into the tarot. All right, tell me about group threes. Person, what's it gossiping? What are they saying? Who are they? We definitely have love. We have a family member, possibly a sibling, and we have an abusive energy as well. The abuser could be a sibling. You know, it, it's going to be different for different people. Maybe someone uh, who you have children with or is talking about children or wants to have children with you. Okay, mystery. Black Moon Lilith. Beautiful card. Lilith has come out in a couple of these readings. So that's always interesting when she shows up. Okay. All right. Let's flip these over. We have desire. That makes sense with Lilith. It's energy here. Um, and we have an envious gluttony. Ooh. But you know what I feel with this? I feel like somebody just wants to get lost in you. Like they want to devour you. You know, they want to consume you. They want you to be theirs. They want to have your heart. Like this this energy here and this card, see how the dragon is kind of looking at the hand? I feel like they want you in their hand. Um, maybe Capricorn energy here, Aries energy. Um, we have air energy. Yeah. Um, and there's an intuitive connection with uh, one of these people. All right, and we have Nyx, Enchantress of the Night, Secrets, Vigilance, and Subterfuge. Yeah, there's an energy here, uh, abusive energy that would like to sabotage you. One enchanted, enchanted evening, the perfect night. I think somebody is, if you don't know this person yet, uh, they're trying to figure out how, you know, to make that happen. All right, um, we have... Third harvest, daughters of the woods, feel thy sacred swell with suppleness. Taste the gathering of honey's milk, filling your emptiness. You guys, there's an energy here that is absolutely crazy about you, okay? You may not know who this is. You may know who this is, but they are consumed with their desire for you. They think about you all the time, and they think about you in an incredibly sexual way, okay? That doesn't mean there's not depth here, but this is a strong energy. Out of the four energies I'm feeling, this is the strongest. Like, they're stepping forward and saying, you need to tell them that I want them, and I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, and I do talk to my friends about you, so. <laughs> we have healing. Oh, beautiful energy. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, one of these energies is talking about how to talk to you, about how they feel, how to come forward, how to make themselves known to you. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Honestly, I feel, and if this was an 18 plus, plus reading, I would get more in depth in this, but I feel like they have a lot of late night thoughts about you. You might look at that video, okay, and pick one. This person is consumed with desire for you, and uh, they talk about you a lot. There's an aspect here with Lilith of sexual expression. They may have an unusual, um, like, sexuality. Uh, there may be, like, fetishes here and things like that, so just keep that in mind. But there's something about your energy that soothes their soul and so it inspires them to move okay uh, for others this is someone who an abusive energy who really wants to get in your way okay and i think you're healing and they don't like that i feel like you've you've cut them off or you're in that process and you may have children with them so it may be difficult to completely cut them off but i think you're working on that like if they were abusive to you then they're probably abusive to their children, right? So um, probably working on healing that and trying to figure out how to maneuver that energy, especially if you're divorced or, or that kind of situation. So, um, and there's a level of acceptance here. And I feel like this has to do with you. Accept, you're accepting things about yourself that you may have found unacceptable before. This could have to do with your sexuality, um, how you present yourself to the world, how you look. Um, 
think think insecurities of the feminine nature that is what you're working on or you have worked on you're beginning to accept yourself maybe there's things about your body you don't like and you're learning to accept yourself maybe there's things about the way you think maybe uh that kind of thing and you're just learning to accept yourself and it's bringing it's making you really set off this energy of being really sexy sexy sorry and powerful um and i think the issue is is that this person who is getting lost in your energy and talking about you hasn't tapped into your depths yet, okay? And for you, that's going to be really important. They're like secretive. They're keeping things on the lowdown. And I feel like you hide your heart a little bit because of the subterfuge here. You tend to always get in your own way, and maybe that's something that you're learning to deal with and put in the past, okay? So let's get into the tarot. That was a lot just from those cards. Okay, tell me more about the people who are gossiping about group three. Tell me more about the people who are gossiping about group three. I want to know more. I want to know more. The sibling energy, family energy, it's particularly kind of vicious is what I'm feeling. Uh, the magician and the four of cups. I feel like um, this is probably a family issue and it could be this person who wants you a lot um there's this energy of like really trying to manifest a connection and being not not seeing it not having it not knowing how to move uh, looking at maybe some mistakes they've made if this is a sibling they're talking about how much you've messed up what they perceive as messing up they could be talking about maybe the end of a marriage or how you're raising your children or um, they may be judging you harshly about some decisions you've made, but it, it feels nasty or it feels disappointed. Like this is someone who wants to come forward, but they, you know what it is? It's your energy is changing and you're becoming more of a, a stronger force. Like you have this presence that maybe you didn't have before. It's manifesting and coming forward because you're really working on yourself. There's things about yourself you're accepting. And this person feels a little bit like a more submissive energy where they're not really sure how to approach you. This is someone who kind of adores you. Now, they may not be a submissive energy, but for some of you, they are. And they're not sure how to approach you. And... Um, yeah, they really want this connection. They want the divine to, I'm seeing the cup. In the four of cups, there's usually a cup being given by uh, a hand out of nowhere, like the divine. And I feel like they're really working with the divine energy, trying to manifest a connection with you. That's going to be different for different people. So, okay, tell me more about the people who are talking about group four, the gossip, the tea. Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here's that Ace of Wands. Uh, this is the Sprung card, okay? This is, you got someone hot and heavy for you. Uh, they, this is the person who talks about you a lot. Um, we have Temperance here. And I feel like they're just really, um, it's almost like they're allowing life to unfold and give them the in, okay? But they are definitely, they just wanted to come back to this again. They're very sprung for you. If, if you have uh, body issues, uh, this person may help you work through that because they adore you. They love your body. They love your mind. They love your soul. Although I think they love your soul, but the truth is, is that you haven't revealed all of that. So um, I'm not saying they're shallow. I'm saying that you probably haven't um, really, you know, exposed all of that to people. So I feel like you keep things, you may be a Scorpio. You keep things a little bit mysterious, okay, like that Lilith energy, right? You have secrets here. I think maybe you have boundaries, and uh, they're healthy boundaries. After this abuser, maybe you're you're trying to learn healthy boundaries. We have the King of Pentacles, okay, Earth sign, and we have the Six of Wands, okay. So this is an energy about you that um, they see winning your heart, okay. Um, and it does feel different from this energy, okay? This feels more mature. It feels like um, maybe this is a fourth person we're talking about now. Um, it feels like a more mature healing connection here. I feel like with the water, uh, I feel a lot of cancer energy and earth energy here. Like they want to help you heal from your past relationships. They want you to... Uh, accept yourself more and I feel like they talk about you to other people like um, they want to win your heart 
Okay, they want to they want to have a chance with you. I feel like literally this uh, masculine energy, this box here. This is this is okay. This is interesting. It's like a box of ideas of how to connect with you. A box of ideas. So while this person over here is trying to figure it out, this person has lots of ideas on how to connect with you, and they feel like they're going to be victorious. This is someone who's used to winning people's hearts. They're used to. Um, getting what they want, and there, there's an energy, a charm about them, and it's very healing. I think you're going to feel really good, okay, when you, because this person will come forward. Maybe not tomorrow, because they're busy talking about you, talking about you to their, their friends, okay. I think I found the one. That's what I hear. I think I found the one. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups here. So I'm feeling like for some of you that we're going to elaborate more on this love, there's definitely someone going to come forward. It's going to be probably slower than what you think, and they're going to offer you um, a connection. They're going to offer you, um, yeah, this is someone who's talking about that. They're talking about that with their people, and uh, they've decided, you know, I'm going to come forward. Now, I feel like for this particular energy here, I feel like they may have a family with somebody else and maybe getting out of that. So that could also be why they're slow moving. There may be children that are influencing their ability to come forward. So just keep that in mind. Okay, let's get a Moonology card here. Lots of romantic energy with your deck. I feel like an ex may, this abusive ex energy may come forward too and want to want to try again kind of thing. But I think you're going to be like, ah, surrender to the divine. Yeah, I feel like your best bet with all of these people who are interested in you um, is just to allow. Just uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Be who you are. Um, live your life and just allow this to unfold, okay? And if you get contacted by somebody or meet someone that sparks an interest, and what does that mean? You feel something in your heart chakra. You feel that uh, quickness of your heart, you know, the butterflies in your stomach, maybe confusion. If you feel confusion when you meet somebody and it feels good, it probably means they're an important soulmate, okay? And their energy is catalysting you to a different level on your journey, all right, a different level of awareness, becoming more aware of our conscious connection with other people, okay? All right, group three, that's what came forward for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you will uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't, and hit that little notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. And I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, group four, all of you that selected this death card and the stack of cards here. I just want you to get a little close look. This is the most beautiful death card out of all the decks I have. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a dice and find out how many people are gossiping about you. And then we're going to get into the cards. I'm going to pull a few and then we'll flip everything over. We'll get into all the tea that's going on, all the gossip that has to do with you. So, I'm going to throw one dice. How many people are gossiping about group four? Five. Five people. So five energies. Okay. So let's see what we can find out. Okay. I'm jumping ahead of myself. I do that. <laughs> you guys know that. Okay. Oops. I'm using a new setup here. So the way my camera's done. So I may shake the camera and I'm sorry. I'm trying to get better. All right, group four, let's find out who is gossiping about you. What is the tea? What are they saying and why? Who are they? How dare they? How dare they? That's what I hear. It's like, how dare they? One of them flipped over. Okay, I can't find it, so it'll come up. Feeling this one. Oh, don't flip it over. I did anyway. Okay, Taurus. You may be a Taurus. They may be a Taurus. Uh, yeah, let's keep going here. True love. All right. Yeah, this may be this this feels like someone who's in love with you is talking about you. Probably to family and friends. Maybe they ask, how is such and such kind of thing? And they talk about you. We have fired. This is someone who maybe you fired them or they're a coworker that got fired, that kind of thing. Um, that feels a little bitter. Uh, you can trust them. Okay, this is somebody who's talking about you. It feels like the true love, the color's the same. Uh, you can trust them. They're not saying anything 
Um, they may say some things that, you know, are a little locker roomy, but not bad. Okay, not bad. Nothing bad. Talent. Someone's talking about your talent. Maybe you're showing more of your talents, your skills and abilities. And I feel like uh, for many of you, this is triggering some people. And wow, that's not nice you know I'm gonna pull some love cards I feel like you have true love here so someone who is really this is serious love okay this is serious levels of love part of my deck it was missing part of this deck so um, this is someone who thinks you you are their person this may be twin flame energy uh, vital soulmate energy divine counterpart energy uh, they're talking about you right okay We have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. All right. That's powerful. I feel like getting another one. All right. We have, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love. I feel like this person feels like you're, you're their person. And I think they tell people that. Okay. Um, let me get a couple more here. I'm not, I'm not pulling this like I said I was going to, am I? I'm flipping them over. I said I wasn't going to do that, but I can't help it. Okay. I feel like they feel very free with you. I think the uh, connection they have, I feel like for some of you, this is a person you're involved with right now. And I feel like they feel very free with you. Like you don't, you're not controlling. I feel like they've had a problem with people being bossy and controlling in their past relationships. And you give them a lot of freedom. Like you don't make them call and check in every so often. You know what I mean? Like you, you don't keep tabs on them. You don't micromanage them. And they really love that about you. Um, and I think they feel like this is someone they could live with. This is someone they could marry if you're not married to them now okay love yourself first beautiful energy and I feel like for those of you who aren't on the pathway with this person I feel like um, the person who's talking about you is talking about you as an idea like this would be my perfect person kind of thing like they're trying to manifest you indirectly and for many of you you're on this uh, journey to self-love like you're learning how to love things about yourself and find out what you love maybe you've had a traumatic past and so you're really disconnected from the things that bring you happiness and pleasure and I feel like especially with the Taurus card here there's a person here that's going to help you uh, with this process of learning to love yourself learning what makes you happy and experiencing that um, I'm feeling a lot of like happy fun energy here so let's keep going let's go ahead and flip these over we have the death and rebirth card beautiful powerful card there uh, we have love charm Attract a lover, soulmate, or life partner. Okay, so uh, that may be for people who don't have a partner right now. For others, this is validation of the partner you're with. They feel like they're under a love charm. It's very powerful. You're very charming. And the freedom you give them is something they've never felt before. They've never felt this kind of love before. This is a whole other level of true love, okay? And they're talking about it. They're talking about this unbelievable connection. Like they didn't think they would ever meet someone like you. Okay, calling the storm. I feel like you're feisty, and they talk about that. They talk about how feisty you are, all right? And for the fired person here, I'm feeling like they're talking about uh, how you got them fired. Someone's blaming you for losing their job, even though it was all them, okay? I feel like you were just doing what you were supposed to be doing, and um, they didn't like it. They, want, they may have asked you to do something kind of unethical, and you said you're not going to do that, and for that, they're bitter, they're bitter and they blame you, which is not true. A sacred devotion, a worship skin deep rising from the ash, the waters you keep. Okay, I feel like this is about a love, this love charm here. I feel like um, the, the love that you're feeling, even if they're not together, it's like this person is sending that to you. They're sending out this beacon of light towards you. It's helping you uh, through this uh, death and rebirth process. And I feel like you're learning to love yourself and you're going to magnetically attract this person closer to you. If you're with this person right now, expect your love to go deeper. The more positive things they say about you, the more this beautiful energy around this egg vibrates. It's like they're sending positive vibes out towards you they want you to uh i'm being pulled to the talent card here i feel like they're wanting you to rise in your natural talents and abilities i feel like they're wanting you to really um come forward 
and um, I feel like I'm fixing to channel something. Um, and they really would like you to become more open about your talents, really show people your personality. Yeah, I I'm feeling like the energy is literally coming through as a channel right now. This is a very strong person. This person's probably psychic. Uh, they may be a powerful empath. I feel like um, they feel very strongly about your talents. This is someone who believes in you. And it may be more than, because you have six people here, it may be a group of people who talk to you, talk about you. This could be a group who is watching you and watching your talents. And um, it's a little gossipy, but not in a bad way. Like the things they've talked about that are negative are not really negative, okay? They're things that can be changed or things you're working on. So, um, you know, if you have some issues with displaying your talent, this talent could be in business, it could be online, it could be in person, it could be artistic, it could be you're a great accountant and people in your business, in the business world have gotten wind of your, your talent. So it's going to be different for different people. And I need to create that broad spectrum so you guys understand um, what's really going on here. So let's keep going. Fear. Yeah, I feel like um, there are people who sense your power. I feel like you're very powerful. That's why this channel is coming through. You and your person are very powerful, okay? And I feel like this person is trying to send you messages, probably through your dreams, maybe even telepathically, okay? Um, but there's a lot of fear here. And I feel like for you, that's part of the death and rebirth. You are transmuting this fear. And um, the fired person is actually afraid of you. I feel like you have a group of people who fear your power. Maybe you're showing your power online or in person in some way. Um, maybe you're involved in magic or witchcraft or something like that, and they fear you. I feel like this is someone who, you, who has done you wrong who fears your abilities, calling the storm in fear. I feel like that's just swirling around them and they're scared because they have said stuff about you that you would not like. Okay, that's what we're getting to. They have said stuff about you that you would not like and I feel like they fear you because of it because they know that you know. Like your intuition is strong, you're psychic. You may read cards, you may uh, um, you know, be a spirit medium. There's a whole lot of energy here, all right? So, um, but there are people who fear you and rightly so. We have Golden Empress, Jewel of Abydos, Potency, Confidence, and Magnetism. Yes, I'm feeling that with you. You have, what you're doing is you're taking the fear and you're, you're transmuting it into confidence, okay? Do you have any idea how difficult that is to do? It takes, oops, sorry, a level of self-mastery here. Okay, so you're on the road to self-mastery, uh, becoming completely and utterly magnetic and illuminating, okay? And then we have fear. Fear here is twice. There are people talking about you who are scared of you, okay? This is also divine counterpart energy. We have, I can't pronounce that, but fear. And then we have Kali and fear. So we have divine counterpart energy on the table. So definitely there's true love here, okay? Um, but there's also this person... There are people who are highly attracted to you. I think you have a sexual presence. There may be Scorpio here. Um, Scorpio Mars, Scorpio Venus, Scorpio Rising, Scorpio Moon. All right. Let's talk about these people. Tell me more. We want to know. Okay. I'm being guided to a different deck. So let's do that. Okay. Tell me about group fours, people who are gossiping about you. This could go into an 18 plus reading very easily. So you guys might want to look at that 18 plus reading. What are their late night thoughts of you? If you're over 18, of course. Okay, we have the three of cups. Yeah, I think you make them happy. People are talking about how happy you make them, how they love being around you. I think it's this person who's feeling freedom in your connection. You know, instead of feeling like restricted and controlled and measured, this person feels free to be who they are. Maybe you feel this way with your person as well. Maybe you feel like you don't have to hide anything, that you can show them who you are, show them your scars, your wounds, and all that stuff, and they love you. And there's something about them that helps you lighten your mood, okay? They're really helping you learn to love yourself and grow more confident, okay? Especially because I feel like this person thinks you're talented. There's something here that you have that's very special. 
All right, we have the Page of Cups here. All right, so maybe I'm feeling like dreams, psychic abilities. Um, I feel like there are somebody talk, someone talking about your abilities, especially people who fear you. I feel like if you put out it, stuff online where they can see this uh, magical or witchy ability, I feel like they see it and they fear it because of what they've done in the storm. This could not be someone that was fired but someone who you have let go of, and they may be talking about you in a very vicious way. And because of that, they know and they understand how you work because at one time you were probably close and they fear you, and rightly so, rightly so. You're powerful. You're more powerful than what you think, and more people fear you than what you think. We have the five of wands. Yeah, conflict. I feel like uh, there are people talking about you with this fear here that you've had conflict with, that it wasn't a pretty end. However, this ended wasn't pretty. It was very chaotic, like a storm, and uh, there was tears shed. Like, this is true pain here. Whatever this is, this was truly painful. I'm feeling this card, so I'm going to take it. We have the Queen of Cups energy. There are people also talking about your abilities and how compassionate you are, how healing you are, how much you give to other people, and how it's time for you to receive. It's like there are actually people who are trying to manifest the next level for you, okay? That's powerful. And... Uh, People in certain groups, like magical groups, alternative spirituality, things like that, they don't normally send out stuff like that unless they really know and believe that what they're seeing as talent, what they're seeing is, as ability, as psychic ability, whatever this is, writing, don't, they don't just send it out is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is done because of who you are. You're very special, uh, group four. There's something really special about you. You have Phoenix energy, and people can't help but talk about you. You may not realize how, pe how people talk about you. You may not realize that when you enter a room, your aura kind of makes everyone notice you. There's something very, I'm feeling like a purple aura, a golden aura. You have many layers to your aura. You have like a uh, ascended master type energy around you. Um, and people pick up on this. My hand chakras are opening up. So um, you're a healer. And we have the empress. Wow. For there are, there's specifically one person, this true love energy that's talking about you being their empress. You're it for them. You're their person. There is anyone else. And uh, maybe you aren't, aren't open to like marriage and that troubles them. Okay, because they want to marry you. They have this need to make you theirs. Okay, maybe a Taurus, maybe an Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, and it's like they want other people to know that you belong to them. Okay, so even though this is very positive energy, uh, I feel like they really want to encourage you and your abilities. They also you know, have this thing where they want people to know that you're theirs, okay? Because I feel like you have a lot of energy coming towards you of, um, maybe you're online, maybe you have something going on online, because I feel like a lot of tensions coming your way um, in a matter of time if it hasn't happened, and I feel like this energy may be a little jealous, and w the way you can smooth that jealousy is to let them know that you're theirs and so there may be a token or maybe some kind of display of uh, their presence so that others know that hey you know cool that you I, I appreciate that you have that great affection for me but I'm with this person and um, you know no harm no foul kind of situation so all right let's get a couple more cards here for you guys and da -da -da -da. okay Let's get some monology cards for you. I feel good things coming for this group, okay? I really do. There's a lot of good energy uh, with this stack. And um, the true love here will probably come in, if it hasn't yet, it will come in um, probably before you feel you're ready, okay? But you can trust them. You'll know because you're going to feel it. You are very gifted in psychic abilities, okay? So when your person steps forward, you are going to know. And there may be an aspect of you that's like, hey, hey, I'm not ready for this. Guides, what are you doing? You have to trust your pathway. Trust your journey, okay? You can trust them. You can trust your guides. You can trust your journey. Okay, we have show the world the real you. Yeah, this has to do with your talent. You need to bring out more of your talent, okay? It's going to attract. If you haven't met this person yet, I feel like it's going to attract them to you. And this is what you want. They may come in what you think is too early. I'm sorry. You know, spirit does that sometimes. They just, you know, you have it a certain way, and they're like, no, we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it this way, and you're going to like it. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, sorry. Sometimes spirit can be a little trickster. 
but let them in. Don't push them off, okay? Let them in, okay, when your person shows up. It'll, the reason you'll know is because it'll feel unlike anything else has ever felt, okay? That's how you'll know. It will knock you for a loop, and you'll be like, what? Okay, take a leap of faith, yes. So um, they want you to trust this person who's talking about you and gossiping about you in a positive way. When they come forward, they want you to leap, okay? With your talent, they want you to leap. I feel like you have a lot of leaps coming, all right? And it's really about you bringing out more of your authentic self, which is connected to this talent, okay? Um, and I feel like the people who fear you, the more you rise, the more this energy will kick up. And you may actually have people like throwing hexes and stuff like that at you, throwing hate. And you know what? I feel like you're going to be in such an elevated state that they're not going to be able to touch you. They can't even get close to you. And I feel like they're going to know that. And it's going to frustrate them. Eventually, this energy, this fear energy will burn out, okay? And your fear is going to burn out, okay? Because you're going to face your fear about showing your true self to people. Uh, people can't support you if they feel like they don't know who you are. You have to let people in. If you want people to support your talent, and I feel like some of you are like, nah, I'm not that talented. Nah, no, this is your pathway, okay? You are not giving talents and abilities to hide. And the first thing you have to do is get real with yourself, all right? And trust what you're given. Trust your abilities. Trust yourself, all right? Nobody knows you better than you. All right, and we have bring a t gentle touch. So I feel like uh, this is advice for you to uh, be kind to yourself. Continue this pathway to self-love. And um, I feel like you really need to be compassionate. Rest when you need to. Drink a lot of water. It helps move a lot of this energy around. And um, yeah, bring a soft touch to your life. I think when this person comes forward, I feel like uh, they may be nervous when they come forward. So be nice. <laughs> Be nice. Uh, you will, though. You will. You will. Okay, group four, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to talk to you. I hope you have a beautiful day. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would love to have you as a member of my tribe. And click that little notification bell so you'll get notified of all my new content. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye, guys.